Ooh, there we go. Go. Dark splash of dried blood, visible on the ground. Its foul, pungent scent awakens the this predatory instinct of the hunt. Everything nearby is splattered with blood, as if the battle took place here, or someone slaughtered a herd of goats. Yet the blood belongs to neither human nor goat. Its sulfurous odor indicates that the blood is of a rare, fire-breathing dragon. Injured and exhausted, the fleeing dragon stopped here to rest. Uh, the commander decides to ask the assassin for advice. Uh, the wolf points. Um, uh, to the south. Dragon Lair is somewhere. Okay. Commander and his followers are traversing the mountains, tracking down the female uh, wound worm. Has lately been wreaking havoc over Dresden. The dwarf leading the party approaches the cliff's edge and points down to a ruins of tower. Uh, uh, the ruins of a tower built upon the rock 300 feet below. Very existence raises a number of questions. Who would build a tower here? So close to demons. Uh, why would they erect it here at the bottom of a canyon? An expert and landless of the tower's structure provides the answer. Numerous fractures in design indicate that this building dates back to the golden age of the Zlanti Empire. Zlant, this constant uh, first center of human culture, Glorian, brought together by intelligence of the ancient uh, aquatic race of... Okay, so what, like Atlantis? Relieved and bound by their arrogant leaders begin to think of themselves superior. Oh no, they didn't get drowned. That meteor shower took them out. Okay. Several times older than, uh, than the world wound and was originally constructed on top of a mountain before the cataclysm changed everything. Tectonic plates shifted, causing the tower to sink to the bottom of nearly formed, a newly formed canyon. Okay. Ancient ruins have been for ages, barely visible amidst the step cliff or steep cliffs. Towers would have been remained hidden had the commander's party not discovered it by following the tail trail of blood. Wolf signals that it's time to descend. The alpine path leading to the tower soon splits into two directions. One uh, uh, on the left is a rocky ledge, dangerous and now invisible, visibly oh, unstable. On the right is a broad path covered in overgrown brambles and thickets. There may be poisonous uh, plants in these rock mountains. From which are dangerous. Mmm. Let's take the steep one. Commander decides to take the path to the left, which descends steeply down a dangerous angle. The loose stones along the, the ledge are treacherous and unstable. Just one wrong step causes a rock slide. Okay. Since his most careful and intelligent companion this way. Statistics show that mountains uh, often prove to be more cunning and cruel than those who seek to conquer them. Even places that seem harmless may uh, in fact be highly dangerous. However, Weaver does not make a single mistake as he skillfully navigates the most dangerous sections of the path. His eyes watch carefully, mirroring every move. Yeah! Oh, this might be bad. Because we have crap of yeah, athletics. The path comes to an abrupt end. The descent rock slide destroys a section of the trail, leaving behind the most uh, only a few footholds for a brave enough those brave enough to attempt the crossing. 
commander's allies hastily tie themselves together with a rope. Open uh, to prevent a fall if anyone loses their foothold. Fall silently indicates his mountaineering equipment. Uh, if they choose to climb uh, down the mountain cliff, they'll be able to get back onto the path and avoid dangers ahead. I have... Yeah, it takes... I have more mobility, and it takes less mobility. So I'm going to have to say, all of the most agile of my companions. Fuck. It's unwise to trust the uh, stability of the fallen rock. It's no longer solid. Okay. Whoever leads the party across the increasingly dangerous a precarious ledge. Athletics, that's minus one. Falls like a st uh, stone towards the tower ruins below. His allies reach out to catch him. Fails. Unfortunately, Weaver clings to the... Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Oh, and they catch me and unfortunately succeed, okay? Weaver clings to his allies, pointing them with him as he plummets through the air. Oh! Safety rope grows taut as each member's... Uh, the party's dragged over the precarious uh, the, the, the precipice one after another it's a cacophony of shouts and muffled screams the commander and his followers hit the ground with a resounding thud likely the ledge is not high enough uh, for the fault of the faithful but uh, they cover the rocks around them with splats with blood and torn bits of clothing oh no Wolf leading the party tries uh, desperately to slow his descent oh as they oh, continue to have was the dragon's lair. Mm, curses fury punctuating the numerous obscenities. Oh, are we gonna be completely fucked up before the f like on the fight to the dragon? Yup. Hi. Tumble down the rocks towards the dragon amidst the cloud of dust and um, cascading stones. Breakneck descent affects the detention of. Yeah, attracts both the attention of the dragon and her prey. An elderly elf, who appears to be her latest victim. A okay, grey ball groans as he picks himself off the floor. Without expression on his face. Well, this is a real mess. Well, we've got a dozen uh, favor us today. You again. He uh, came to finish me off. That uh, Was this old dotted a part of your plan to distract me? Wait, is that the storyteller here? I'll devour you whole, and your death will be uh, slow and agonizing, you parasites. It is Storyteller! If you're surprised you recognize the dragon's captive, Storyteller. You're looking for him. He points urgently to the dragon. Kill her. Kill her right now. She starts to breathe fire. Every yeah, okay. Oh, is there some way to maybe avoid? I don't want to fight. How dare you injure me? You will pay for the pain you've caused. Well, oh, my God. Still not himself. I'm all right. I'm all right. He was back, good. Damn you. You ever act like this? You did. Is Gravel ever gonna get into melee with them? Nauseated. I don't see sick and poisoned. I don't see like frightened or anything there.
Oh my god, stop with the fearful presence, you freaking bastards. I fear I've been wounded. This is so dumb. I've, I've got nothing to counter that. Got nothing to counter that bullshit. Oh, we're back here. Cool. Okay. job finish those guys off shall we Okay. So annoyed. We'll try and take the other path, maybe. That'll be less more, uh, less about athletics and stuff like that, and more in line with what we actually are good at. lower level armies that I can send these guys at. South. Save there. Okay, so this is going to be perception other stuff. Okay, that's going to be so much better. So I see the path to the right, which leads through a uh, foliage, overgrown bushes, and stuff like that. Okay, cool. 29. Order the uh, most seven member of the party to lead. Good. Decisions tend to be a smart one. The local predators tend to avoid the most po uh, poisonous plants. In the trail, we even notice uh, a recently mummified corpse of a female mountain cat. Fell prey to the thicket of blood sucking vines. Eee. Oh no! Oh, we succeeded! Holy shit! Uh, assisted by their training and combat experience, the party climbs down slowly and steadily. Weaver does not panic and make a single mistake. Skillfully leads the, those members down the thing. Awesome. 
cry of warning, uh, the dwarf points to the sky. A giant bird of prey circles ominously. 17. Uh, the beak of a... Um, um, morphic... Uh, their beak uh, morphically and morphology indicates their carnivorous nature. Fine. Nope. He withdraws his knife and slides the blade against a rock, trying to mimic the sound of a mountain cat. We're about to fall to our deaths again. Yup. Cat, what? 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 Pa pa Okay. Attack. I will defend my dream. Simply business. Get them out of here. Hit them from a distance. fear effects that that is a really important one save yourself my dear Notice that. Oh! You suffered a, a crippling wound? Oh my god. Don't let that dragon get off the ground. She'll set fire to everything. No reason to pause. What's going on here? Together we stand. That was timed. Timed. Rayball appears calm, but the chill of his voice and his veins standing out of his neck leave you with no doubt about his true feelings. I expected more from your party. <sighs> okay, gotta redo that. I hate this. I hate this. I hate my life. I hate my life. Can't let that dragon escape. I didn't realize. rough when you can't do anything one more step and that'll happen um okay that's being affected by that anything that gives that's wisdom that might be good
Okay, I'm I'm just giving this a go. Oh, that potion's HD war app. Yep, 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 yep. Failed. Failed. Hi, right, we're here, we dropped in. So attack it quickly, that way it gives us a chance to heal up and move some of my guys around. Do not fear. Do not waver. Quickly pop that. We will get over there. Simply business. This went so wrong. Why am I so weak? Nope, that's over. Oh, fuck a duck. This is rough. This is really, really rough. Didn't. Okay, the party overcomes every obstacle. Um, I secretly approach it. Oh my god. We save, please? Let me save. Yes! Oh my god! We can pre buff. I'm here all week. Ready to serve. <laughs> We will win this war. Magritium Turinos. Like a chosen one. Okay. You know what you're doing. Good. Right, you keep losing your freaking mind. Where's the Alp? Oh, we already drank the Alp potion because we're dumb. Go more intelligence. Hmm. Anything else I can do? On will saves. Okay.
There's the dragon. Let's try and get as close as we can without a dragon making it. Okay. We crept up to the toothy old lizard without her noticing. Pleasure work with real professionals. Let's get a closer look so we can attack uh, when she least expects it. Dragon looms over the old elf with her vicious teeth barred uh, in an angry snarl. You recognize the face of the storyteller. I know you're in league with those little parasites who wounded me. They sent you to spy on me. They thought I wouldn't crave the crunch of your old bones. Ha! They were wrong. I've always had a special liking for the taste of elven flesh. Uh, but I do love to play with my food. Uh, what can you offer me in exchange for your pathetic life? Perhaps I won't kill you if you manage to impress me. He said, oh. Uh, it's just a story. Stories are all I have. Some of them are priceless, more valuable than any treasure. Stay quiet and wait for the right moment to attack. I have one a, a peculiar item on uh, on me. The previous owner was quite sinister, so I think you might enjoy this, uh, appreciate the story. A small bundle in his bag and opens up to reveal a golden signet ring. As he holds it up in his shaking hands, the old man's voice suddenly changes. His tone grows uh, shrill and angry, taking an on exaggerated quantity, a uh, quality. They're doing a mocking intimidation of someone else. Everything in this throne room is so cheap and vulgar. And the uh, Eldori knows nothing about luxury. Another sorry provincial excuse for an aristocrat. And yet, I still must bow my head and smile politely to those sword-wagging half-wits. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, these poor souls have never known anything more luxurious in their life than this royal parody of a palace. 